So somebody finally decided to show the calf off. Let's take a look. There it is. Our first high park calf. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Mazzy, where are we going? Archery! Um, stay archery! Shoot! Stay, stay archery shoot! So, you guys can see behind us, we have the bus. And guess who gets to ride the bus, Mazzy? Me! Mazzy gets to ride the bus. But Daddy gets to ride the bus because my truck is over at, at the school. Huh? And you got your bow. Your brand new bow case? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so today, we're going to go to the state archery tournament in Tulsa, Oklahoma, there are going to be hundreds of archers shooting at one time, Mazzy. Is that going to be fun? Archery, do you like archery so far? Yeah. So Mazzy right. loves archery, and uh, like I said, I'm going to bring you along. Uh, if you're following along on Catching Up with the Walkers, you know that I got a different truck yesterday, and so my old truck's over at the school, and I got to bring that home. So I'm going to ride over to the school. Hey, you boys always take the first seat. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, Mazzy, where can I sit? Okay. Put the bow there. Hey, can we stop by the store, bus driver? No. I didn't get any coffee yet. You had it. I didn't either. Just kidding, is I got one? coffee. Uh, I don't think so. Now it is. Yeah. All right, everybody buckle up. What? No, buckle <laughs> Just kidding, I always wanted to say I that. Like doing that. All right, sit down, Mazzy. <laughs> we gotta go. Who invited this guy? What? You don't like my dad jokes? They're free. I'll be here all day. So as we're driving out of the farm, we just saw the um, little calf that was just born, Mazzy. Pepper had a calf. Is it a cute calf? Hello. I don't know, I've never seen it. You haven't seen it yet? No. Well, okay. we had a hard time showing the subscribers, but if you can look out there. I've only seen it. There it is. All right, bye. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't it cute? It looks just like it's mama. So hopefully by the end of the video, I can catch up with that calf and get some better video for you guys because it is super cute. So I've learned something on the bus. One of Mazzy's least favorite songs is... Wheels on the Bus. Wheels on the Bus. Why? Or Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because they always sing it. So we've been having a, a, a guessing contest. Mazzy... Mazzy sings... Uh, some of a song and I have to guess the title and I've learned that she doesn't know very many country songs like Johnny Cash or uh, Toby Keith and I don't know very many songs that she listens to like who? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Or, 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 I don't know very many Taylor Swift songs so it's been a pretty good competition neither one of us have guessed hardly any titles so we made it to the big state event here in Tulsa Oklahoma um, this is the fairgrounds. This is the big expo center. They will have 1,500 different archers going uh, today, I believe. Um, you'll see when we get in there, I won't talk a lot, but you'll see they have um, targets set up all the way around. Um, they'll have some 3D targets and they'll have all kinds of stuff. This is Mazzy's very first um, time here and Ranger's uh, been here at least once, maybe twice. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll get in there and show you around. Mazzy, you ready? Where are you at? He's down here, I'm waiting. Arrows and quivers, scores on the target. Make sure you don't see your dad.
job. Was that two in the yellow? High five. Was that two in the yellow? Yeah, I, I think I got one ten. Good. I think you got two what tens, maybe. What? The, that one looked like was got, right on. I got a blue, I think a nine, an eight, probably, probably a ten. Good job, sis. <laughs> Is that three tents? At least. Good job. So it is a little bit afternoon and I'm still here at the fairgrounds, but I am leaving. I have to go home and do all the chores because Cassie's gonna be here till probably three or four o'clock but as soon as they get back to um, school, they have to go over to Claremore to play basketball. So Cassie's got a coach, Ranger plays tonight. So I'll bring you guys along, we'll get home and do chores. Uh, Mazzy and Ranger both did great. I think Mazzy did 105 was um, her score and Ranger did 263, I believe. So they'll find out if they place, if they get awards and that type of thing. But I'm getting on the road now, so I gotta let you go. Well, somebody missed me, Jojo and Shelby. Oh. I will have to say that I do miss being off of the farm on days like today, but when the kids are doing their things, that's the main reason I'm here is to be able to go and watch them and support them and do stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to do the chores real quick. Um, we, uh, we'll see if we can see the calf. So right now, if you look way down there, well, let's see, by that tree, uh, the cow and the calf are down there. So I'm going to probably do um, the feeding of the cows first, see if I can get down there and show you guys the calf. Because um, if I wait until she comes up here, I know she's not going to bring it with her. See if she'll bring the calf up. I hope she does, but one way to find out. Woo. Easy, easy. Come on, Pepper. Oh, I think you guys are in for a treat. She's gonna be bringing it up. I see her headed this way. Here you go, baby. Yes, Cece, I see you. No, Cece, I don't want you to bother me. I want to see this little calf. Oh man, Pepper, she's pretty. See if we can see if it's a bull or a heifer. So somebody finally decided to show the calf off. Let's take a look.
There it is. Our first high park calf. I don't know if you can see, it's a lot more brown than black. So mama's black, baby's brown. Beautiful little calf. I already had people ask me if it was a Holstein. Nope, it's not a Holstein, it's a high park, but it is pretty. So I'm not 100% positive, but it does uh, look like a heifer from here. Um, but like I said, either way, we've got a pretty little high park calf on the ground and super excited. That is her very first calf. So there is always a chance for complications, but she is was bred to a Highland bull and the Highland bulls tend to throw smaller calves. So hey, get out of here. So. She is now no longer afraid to bring it up and show it off, so I'm happy about that. All right, girls. Time to eat. Well, there's our unfortunate Mr. Murderer Rooster. Killed uh, Travis. Not very happy about that, but that's what roosters do. They establish dominance, and at some point, one point or another, they're going to let the other one know about it if there's two roosters together. Why? I don't. I still haven't figured out why he waited so long. Because Travis and Taylor have been in here for oh, for a long time. I mean, at least two or three months, and no issues at all. So I don't know. That's just a uh, part of it, though. Part of owning chickens. I know Ransom was bummed. Let's see. Oh, there's some pretty eggs. There's two. I'd say that one might be a new bird laying right there. Look how small that white one is. Uh, a lot of times when they first lay, their first eggs are quite a bit smaller. So that might be a new chicken laying. One of you guys laying that's never laid before? So same thing in here. We have our normal eggs, but over there in the corner we have one little bitty white one. So maybe another one laying okay what would you like i know you're one of the new ones do you want some grain look there you go just for you okay so that's about 14 eggs not bad at all considering that we just got rid of a few good laying hens to um, derek over at soaked living so i'm happy with 14 and i know we're going to start getting more because our um, young hens are about to mature and start laying so if i'm going to brag on the other chickens i better brag on the american breast for a minute uh i just moved their uh trick and tractor so they're in a brand new area now they got new grass under them right here was their old area but they laid four eggs they just started laying and look at that one that one has to be a double yoker compared to the other three uh quite a bit bigger there so uh add that i think i had 14 so now that's 18 eggs that's a dozen and a half eggs and it's not even full sunlight yet so the days are still getting longer um, we're going to be having lots and lots of eggs to uh go to the food pantry which makes us happy uh and cassie will start hatching i believe some american breast chickens but um, first though, she's going to get that rooster out because we don't want any mixed breeds. We want all purebred American breasts. So that's kind of the next thing to come is some uh, American breast hatch, uh, maybe in a couple weeks when things slow down. So I am very excited that you guys finally got to see that calf. And I'm excited too, because we should be having another lamb born soon. Right now I'm looking out there and Dot uh, looks like she's running around like normal. So unless I see some lambs sitting out here in the pen, she probably hasn't had any yet. I'll look around, but then I'll give you guys an update on our little lamb. I'm going to go ahead and call her Wednesday because that's my favorite so far. If Cassie changes it, then she might change it. Tom, why are you mad at the world? Huh? What did the world do to you? He's going to come after me one day and it's not going to be pretty. We might have turkey dinner. All right, you're next, okay? So these, these sheep get fed every day. Uh, usually they don't need it, but right now, since they're carrying uh, lambs, 
it probably is a great a good thing to go ahead and make sure they get plenty of food um so they they gobble up a cup or two uh they're some of our biggest eaters all right what do you think dot you like the name wednesday huh you like the name wednesday here you go girl oh she loves that food hey wednesday hi wednesday hi wednesday dot wednesday is just one of the friendliest little lambs we've ever seen she doesn't try to run away she'll let you love on her and pet on her and if you pick her up she doesn't scream so right now she's just looking for some milk so it's been about almost three days so we will be docking this tail um probably tomorrow this is uh thursday so cassie gets a chance tomorrow if not we will saturday uh, usually two to five days is the time you want to get that process started and we don't cut the tail we just put a band on it it slowly cuts off circulation and eventually falls off so we'll do that just as soon as we get the chance and uh that way it gets the process started before she gets too old xena is it killing you not being able to go in there girl i know you love to go check on the baby but she's doing just fine with mama dot there you go, girl. Sue's still the number one farm cat in my book. And waiting for another rooster to crow. It won't be long. We'll be taking the other roosters to the auction. Um, I think the very first Saturday of the month is when we'll sell them. And by then, hopefully, we'll have all the roosters separated and then all the hens um, moved out to the big coop. So it won't be long, we'll get there. Hey girls. All right, let me come over here, I'll feed you. Watch out, honey. Okay. So I did get started on our uh, little project in the barn in here, our stall, but I only got four boards up. And then I got the other gate hung uh you probably saw that over on catching up with the walkers but the donkey pen is finished all the donkeys are in their own pen they have their own food own water own hay and it makes life a lot easier doesn't it girl it makes life easier when i have all of you separated having all of them separated means there's no fights there's no fights over food between the heifers and the donkeys everybody has their own place to eat and even if they don't uh particularly like the amount they get to eat june be nice june's got attitude we're gonna have to do something with june all right let's get the heifers missy and may may hi girls may may your horns are getting huge look at them look at them set of horns you're not far behind missy but may may is really growing There they go. And they have the whole, uh, it's probably about 20, 26 acres at this point. We've been uh, taking it down a little bit at a time. Uh, that donkey pen's probably two or three acres or a couple acres at least. So still plenty of hay meadow. Um, the, the main thing is we'll have these heifers out probably by the end of March, early April. And then all of this grass can grow up for our hay field at that point. But right now, it's not hurting a thing with them being out there. Shelby, did you get your treats? You probably stole them, didn't you? So I just finished up chores. I think I got it done just in time. I have to go change. I need to take a quick shower because I got a haircut before I got home. And that means that um, I'm going to be all itchy if I don't. But we need to... Uh, I need to go take the van and pick up Cassie um, and Pryor, take her to Claremore so she can coach Rangers basketball game. And then the whole family will come home this evening. So everything on the farm is taken care of. Um, check that off the list. But I did get something out of the mailbox a while ago that made me not very happy, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I'll talk to you guys about that later on when I have time before we end the video. So one thing is done, on to the next one. Mazzy, how was archery? Yeah. So Mazzy did great. She did, I think 105 was her score. And Ranger, what was your score? 
263. 263. So Rangers getting in game mode for basketball. We're back at Claremore um, Christian School, about ready to play. Can I go through? Huh? Can I go through? You can go through. <laughs> so, uh, uh oh, somebody else is coming. <gasps> hey, you gotta tell them. What do you wanna tell them, everybody? Subscribe. And do what? Subscribe and watch their videos. Oh, there you go. You heard the man, you have to subscribe. So, uh, it's been a great day though, but we're gonna finish up with Ranger playing basketball. Not this game, but the next one. So we'll watch him in uh, just a few minutes. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Covering, Sarge, covering. The ball. Where are you going to go? Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Get it, baby. Go down. Two zero white, two zero white. Now look back side. Rebound, first rebound, second. Go, go, go. Hustle down, hustle. I have been meaning to end this vlog for a couple of days, but we just got so busy. Um, we went to the archery uh, tournament on Thursday, and then Friday we had a bean supper, which was a big auction and bean dinner and different things for our school. Uh, and that kept us busy on Friday and Friday night. And then today, Saturday morning, uh, we had basketball. Cassie coached two games, and there were four games at Bradford. So we were super busy with all of that. If you hear the, the dog barking and the turkey, I'm sorry about it, but I'm out here by the barn for a reason. Because I told you earlier in the day, there was something I got in the mail that made me not so happy. And let me just kind of uh, tell you exactly what it is. State of Oklahoma, County Assessor, notice of increase in valuation of real property. So as you guys know, I pay taxes, you pay taxes. We all pay our fair share, right? We have to. Um, we don't uh, send our kids to public school, but our taxes pay for the schools, pay for the roads, pay for the services, military, all the things we enjoy. I don't have a problem with paying my fair share, but it just seems like lately it has gotten out of hand completely. So I messed up. I messed up when I built this barn behind me because I gave them, and I say them, the county assessor, an opportunity to come back to my place and reassess the entire place. So let's see, uh, I think it says, <clears throat> let's see, taxable fair cash value capped. The annual increase in taxable fair cash value is limited to 3% on homestead property and ag land, 5% on other property, unless the property is transferred, changed, or conveyed during the preceding calendar year, or improvements were made to the property. Well, if you look behind me, there was an improvement made. I built a barn and they count that as an improvement. So instead of them capping my increase at 3%, this year they raised it by closer to probably 20%. And we were paying at least, uh, let's see what the increase is. Um, $517 more per year. So that barn behind me is gonna cost me $517 more per year for the rest of my life, more or less. So let's count that up. I'm, I'm 39 right now. Life expectancy, say by the time I get there is 80. You know, that's another 50 years. That's another $25,000 in taxes. I'm gonna pay for a barn that I just paid $25,000 to build. So, I messed up. I, I don't know. I guess I, I, need, I wanted the barn. The animals will appreciate it. The hay gets stored indoors. But it's just becoming um, unrealistic to pay that much for one little improvement like that. But like you're probably dealing with it where you are. 
Um, I never saw the county assessor pull up, uh, but I think that they are using some kind of software now where they do a, an assessment from um, survey from uh, satellite images, and they can tell when you have a new structure on your place. And they were probably here. I just didn't look um, at the cameras or anything to see when they came. And they come, come on your property whenever they want. They do what they want. They survey it. They leave. They don't have to have permission. So I didn't know exactly when they came out. But I do have 30 days to protest this. But I have never done that. And I wouldn't know where to start. So if you guys have any experience in that, I think it's a little bit excessive to be raising my um, taxes that much for one hay barn being built. But they're the government. They'll do what they want. And... You can do nothing about it, more or less. So, that's what my complaint's about today. Uh, taxes. Two, thir two things that are certain in life. Death and taxes. So, as long as I'm not facing death, I guess taxes aren't all that bad. But, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, in the meantime, we did receive a, a package, a couple of packages. So, before we end the video today, we're going to head inside, open those up. I think one of them's for ransom. And the other one is probably for the whole family, but I'll show you what we got. Now, of course, if you're going to get better at basketball, what do you got to do, coach? Practice. 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 <laughs> Mine's green out here. I stuffed you in here. Out here. Left right. Ransom's getting that practice in too. Working on his dribbling. Whoa, behind the back, between the legs. He's got it all. So while Cassie and Ranger finish up practicing outside, there is one package for Ransom specifically. So I thought we'd go ahead and knock that out. I'm not looking. You're not looking? Not okay, looking. okay, hang on. Let me read you a little note here. Don't, don't look. It says, it says, Ransom, enjoy your gift. You can cover your helmet with a few of these. Linda Tarbox. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, look, turn around. Stickers! So this is a box of 220, package of 220 inspirational Christian stickers, Bible verse, faith stickers, religious, Jesus, motivational, Stickers for Christmas, all kinds of stickers, Ransom. So you guys can see a couple of those. There's one that says, I love Jesus. And a, one with a Bible, one that says, blessed. And I bet you could share this with Ranger and Mazzy too, couldn't you? Because mm -hmm. I know Mazzy's been wanting a couple new stickers for her bow case. And some of these look pretty cool. I'll so. give her these, and I'll give these to Ranger, and I'll keep these. Okay, well, there's a whole lot in there, so just have to look through them all, okay? All right, what do you want to say? Thank you. So we have one more thing to open, but before we do that, Mazzy wanted to give them an update on what? Flowers. Flower garden. So this is Mazzy's flowers that she has been working on. They are growing. We took the cover off just for a minute to show you guys. But this is assorted wildflowers from Oklahoma and Texas. So Mazzy, yeah. they're growing. You're doing I your... see a little bud right there. You see a little bud? Right there. All right, you're just going to have to keep them growing. And then there's one more thing to open. So, Matt, if you want to sit down. Why don't you close your eyes so you don't peek. Okay, I want to read this, okay? You got your eyes closed? Okay. I was looking at the plant. To Ranger, Mazzy, and Ransom, Colossians 3.23 and Proverbs 3.5-6 through 6, from Mary Cramer. Thank you. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, my apologies. Thank you for being such sweet, encouraging people and for making me smile on a regular basis. Blessings to your family in Christ. Mary Cremo. All right, Mazzy, you can go ahead and look. It's a book. So this is actually Mary right here. And Mary, it says, has written several children's stories as well as a variety of other books. 
And this is called Finds Her New Family by Mary Cremo. So somebody I know, I don't know who it is, some little girl absolutely loves to read books. Do you know who that is? I wonder who. She's right here. Mm. Oh, she's right beside me. Got a little bit of purple in her hair. <laughs> so uh, Mazzy loves to read books. She's actually finishing up a book for a book report tonight, right? You're going to finish I that? I have one more day to finish it. You have one more day to finish it. So as soon as she finishes that up, she, she can check out this book. And um, I'll look through it a little bit first, too. So thank you so much, Mary, for thinking of our family and sharing this book with us. Um, if you guys want to um, check out her books, let's see. There's the ISBN number right there. Sometimes you guys can follow that or just Google it. So I don't think it'll be that hard to find. Do you? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for following along with our family today. It has been so busy, but we've enjoyed it. We hope you have a great day and God bless.